I have to say, I think this is probably the best way to rig your mirrorless camera. Today we are looking at the small rig V-Log battery plate. I think probably one of the best options for rigging your mirrorless camera currently out there. It's small, it's compact, it's easy to use, and it's pretty affordable as well. Mirrorless cameras are great. I love how much you can pack them down, make them as small as you need. But sometimes you do need to build out a bit of a rig. Perhaps it's just to add some weight. Sometimes it's because you need to power things off V-Lock battery. And traditionally you've gone down the route of 15 millimeter rods, uh, various attachments, V-Lock plates. And before you know it, you're actually building up a lot of stuff you've got to bring along on a shoot. Now that is actually a massive pain for me when I'm shooting abroad because Unfortunately, we have to fill out a carne to do that and it's just more things you have to add to the list. Before we get into the review, I'm not exactly sure which one I actually have. There's three versions of this setup and I think actually when I purchased it, it was before they sort of defined which one was which. But you've basically got a light version, a basic and an advanced. The advanced basically means it comes with a small shoulder pad that comes out the back. That might be quite useful to some people. For me, I personally don't see the need and it just adds bulk, which kind of defeats the point of this particular piece of equipment. It does come with a V-Lock adapter plate so you can attach that to whatever you wish. It doesn't have to be a battery and also you have your Arc Swiss as well um, plate on there which I'm currently not using as I actually just use it with a cage with a built-in Arc Swiss. So what makes this V-Lock plate so special? Well the most obvious one is how compact the whole thing is. No need for rods, no need for bulky uh, base plates or anything like that. This is all you need to be able to use it with your camera if you've already got a cage. And I think that's just amazing how small that is and how easy it is to fit into a bag. This very much could be a central part of your camera rig. Perhaps you're gonna add a lot more onto this, like a cage, like I mentioned, top handle, all that kind of stuff. But actually this just makes the actual base of everything so simple to work from, especially if you want to use your camera fully rigged or strip it back down again. It is really just a simple case of undoing the knob and you're able to adjust it to different positions. So of course you can have it on the back. You can lay it down flat, which is handy if you need access to the back of the camera, or if you're using something like a Blackmagic camera, for example, where you need to have access to the screen. What's also really cool is you can actually adjust the length of it as well. So if you want to put something in between, maybe attaching it to the back here, that is an option, or if perhaps you have a camera body that's a bit thicker, for example, the Canon R5C, then you can easily adjust this to make sure you get the correct amount of space behind the camera. As I mentioned, this attaches onto the camera using an Arca Swiss plate. You can use obviously a camera cage that has one built in. And I think that's how I would recommend using it because it just makes life so much easier. Flipping between this and your V-Lock setup and then to a Ronin setup is incredibly easy with this particular rig. It actually just has two locks, one for the position of that, as well as the one for the Arca Swiss on the front there. And they're easy to access and easy to tighten up and undo when need be. As I mentioned, you do get an adapter with the V-Lock, so you could use the V-Lock for non-battery things if you really wanted to. Perhaps you have a wireless transmitter that you'd like to be able to quickly attach and remove or whatever it may be. But to be honest, for me, the V-Lock is for the batteries. That's the reason I want that there, and that's how I exactly use it. In terms of build quality, it's just really well made. It's all metal, uh, the knobs feels great, the buttons feel good. I don't feel concerned that this thing is going to break very easily at all. It's much more solid than other rigs I've used in the past. And I think because it is so compact and it is kind of just one complete little system, it just makes the whole camera feel really solid when you're rigging out. One of the big frustrations when building a camera rig with mirrorless cameras over using a larger camera, say if you're comparing an FX3 to an FX6, for example, the biggest frustration I have with rigging out is that things just get a bit loose and they don't feel that solid and they become a bit of a pain to use while shooting. That's certainly not the case with this V-Log mount. Although this is really great, it isn't perfect. The one issue I really have with this whole setup is the fact that this button right here 
is very easy to accidentally press. There's been several times where I've just knocked it and it has loosened the battery and the battery's actually come off the back and that is not really that great. I wish the button for this was in a different position just making it a bit harder to press. It's just too easy where it is and to be honest, it didn't need to be that uh, far out of the actual plate system itself. It could have been hidden into the system a bit better because there are plenty of other battery plates where I haven't had that problem, but with this one, it is a bit too easy to be able to press that button. Not really a negative, and it's obviously not what it's designed to do, but this is just a passive V-lock attachment on the back. There's no electronics involved. You can't power the camera via the pins or a D-tap or anything like that. It'd be nice if there was maybe a slightly more advanced version that did have that on the back instead of just a metal uh, attachment like we've got here. However, that of course would add complications. It would add price to the whole thing and maybe it wouldn't feel as solid and as simple to use as this setup right here. And perhaps that would actually end up being a bit of a negative, but it'd be nice to have the option in the future of a more advanced electrical version of this small rig V-mount plate. What's the alternative options to using this? Well, it really just comes back to using rods and various sort of 50 millimeter rod plates and battery adapter plates that you can get. As I mentioned, if you want something with D-taps, then this isn't the way to go. Other than that though, I don't think there's really any particular competition for this device. So who is it for? Well, I think anyone with a mirrorless camera that does like to occasionally rig, this is ideal, especially if you do a lot of traveling or you wanna keep your kit small. Uh, or you don't maybe want to use a rig all the time, but occasionally it could be useful to run off VLOG. For anyone out there like that, this is an ideal option to go for. It's not spending too much money on a system, it feels solid and it is super compact. All great things, so it's not a waste of money if you went for one of these. As I mentioned already, I do highly recommend getting a cage with an Arca Swiss so that you can just easily slide this on and off. It makes life so much easier and it really does complete the whole setup. If you like the sound of this, please use my Amazon link down below as it massively helps out the channel. And also while you're down there, also like and subscribe to the channel for plenty more videos about pieces of kit just like this.